Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what is Autodesk Construction Cloud and how we use it in BIM industry. If you are an account administrator, how your profile will look like, how Autodesk Construction looks like, what are the functionalities that Autodesk Construction Cloud gives you, project administration, what are the functionalities a project administrators have, and what are the basic overall functionalities that you get from Autodesk Construction Cloud. So this video will be a very helpful video for all of you. So try watching this video till the end. And before we move ahead, in this video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I'm not like other architecture influencer who is doing this YouTube thing full time. I have a full time job. I am working into BIM industry. I am working into architecture. I am on the field and I'm trying to just share my knowledge. What is exactly going on in the market what are the exact demands in the market this is the reason it becomes very difficult for me to make these videos on regular basis and keep uploading videos like other influencers do but i still give my level best to cater to your demands whatever you guys ask in the comment section i do try to solve them so i just ask you for one thing it's your subscription and your support on this platform which is youtube so please go ahead hit a like and subscribe to this channel and without any delays let's get started with the video So guys, once you have access to Autodesk Construction Cloud, this is how the account administrator profile looks like. And these are the options that are available to you. And once you click on create project, you will see that here you will get the option of putting in all the details about your project, the project name, project location, project uh, starting dates, end date, all of these things that are available to you to put uh, over here. And that's how a basic initial a uh, project folder is created for you. Then the next step always comes to the members and adding members to these projects. So basically as an account administrator, it's under you who gets the access of this project, who can manage this project, who will be the project admin, all of these things you can control. And next thing is of adding companies as well. You can add companies from uh, BIM 360 uh, option that you can see over there which I will come to on later. Next option that you can see is to create templates. So what are templates basically? If you create one project, if you create all the project structure and project uh, file naming and all of these things of a certain project and uh, you add certain members and who will be the project admin and all of these things, who will be the consultant. If you have done that and you know that you will be repeating these process in future as well for other projects as well, uh, you can come here into this uh, template section and then create a template out of that project use all the hard work that you put in you can just use this template which will add automatically add all the members which will automatically copy the folder structure that you have created and also uh, it will give an option to you to rename that project to a, another project so Overall, it just reduces your time a lot. Next option that you can see is the library option. So on, when you go into library, you get the option to create uh, template forms. So basically what you can do is you can create certain kinds of forms. For example, there is a project manager or a site engineer or a project architect that needs to fill a certain form after doing certain review or after every particular week. So what you can do is you can create this project forms and then share it to any project from this specific control panel. and it will be available for all the users of that project. And uh, they can sign these forms and all the accounts will be kept on Autodesk Construction Cloud. So it becomes very easy to keep track of all these things over here itself. Next section, as you can see, is app section. In this section, basically all the uh, plugins that are available for Autodesk Construction Cloud and Revit will be available to you over here and you can also see what are the plugins that are already installed on your companies or your account admin profile. So from here you can make the plugins available for your team and your company. 
so this is how it goes and you have the power of applying and purchasing these plugins as you are the account administrator next is the bim 360 admin uh, section here you will see all the analytics you you can create uh, new companies and add new companies and create uh, members and add members to a certain company and then use this company in your project to uh, give access so you can manage everyone's access through account administrator profile now next section is the project administration so uh, first we saw the account administrator so most of the time account administrator are the people who are the bim lead or the bim manager they control the entire project and all the project access and everything of a company and then comes the project admin so these are the bim coordinators so bim coordinators are given access by the bim lead or a bim manager to manage a certain project so what bim coordinators can do is what we can see here in this uh, project administrator profile here you can control the number of members the access and everything of a specific project not the entire project or other projects of your company but you will be having the access of controlling whatever goes into a specific project not everything one thing that is different over here in this section is the bridge uh, so in bridge what you can do is basically automate when the sheets will be published how the sheets will be published what time what date it will be published you can manage when the consultants or anyone else who is outside your company will be able to see a specific information so that's what bridge is about next section is our project section where you will be able to see your sheets you will be able to see your schedules you will be able to see your files and folder structures and even access 3d models so here you can see that uh, when i click on file you can see that how the folder structure has been arranged uh, i have architecture electrical mechanical and you can manage this as a bim coordinator and if you are a project admin you can control the folder structure and how and where the project lies in your Autodesk Construction Cloud. And one more important thing that you can do over here is you can set permission for a folder, subfolder, and a sub subfolder in a project. So the controls are very good which Autodesk Construction Cloud gives you, what kind of control, who will be able to view, edit, or even share. So all of these things are in your control and how you want to give access is also on you and on the company, basically. Next section is the sheets. So basically what sheets are, so whenever you sync to Central from your Revit, so that's not when these sheets are visible. You have to go and publish these sheets. And once you publish these sheets, then Autodesk Construction Cloud is able to see them. And anyone who has the proper viewing property or uh, viewing permission can view these sheets. And if they have the permission to edit, they can also do markups. They can also create issues. So you don't have to go into your Revit model or see a PDF and do these things. You can just come to Autodesk Construction Cloud or use their Autodesk Construction Cloud app that I have made uh, a video about. So you can, make, uh, you can use that app, see these sheets, go on these sheets, create markups, create issues, even click pictures from the site and uh, create an issue on a certain area and tag a person who is responsible for that particular area. Next is again issues. So issues are basically the same as I spoke about in sheets. You can create issues separately as well. For example, you are not going through plan, but you are just on a site survey. You go on the site, you create these issues and you tag certain specific people who know about this issue or who can resolve these issues. And these can these will be shared with the project team as well. So they will be aware that okay these were the issues that were highlighted to us and these were resolved so the disparency again reduces a lot you have pictures you have markups you have everything tracked recorded onto a central environment which everyone can access or specific people can access if you give them access so guys this was the overview i don't want to make this video very long because already uh, we have crossed like 10 minutes mark so 
what I want to say is this is the overview of Autodesk Construction Cloud. And if you have any kinds of doubts or queries, please mention it in the comment section. There are other features in Autodesk Construction Cloud as well, which I will probably make another video about. There is also a feature of doing clash detection in Autodesk Construction Cloud, which is also very interesting. And I'm planning to make a video about it. So yeah, all I ask is to support this channel, uh, like this video and your likes will motivate me to take these effort and make a video about clash detection on Autodesk Construction Cloud. So go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel, guys. Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.